Meet Mo Flannery. I'm the collection manager in the ornithology and mammalogy department. Mo started at the academy collecting birds in China and Burma. She impressed researchers leading the expeditions when they discovered she knew her birds and her Chinese. Years later, Mo has proven that she can handle anything. She manages the project lab. And the idea behind the lab is that we can bring researchers out to the public so that the public knows that we have almost 100 researchers working here at the Academy. They're preparing specimens. They're also number, numbering bones. People can do DNA extractions in the lab. We have several systems of high-resolution imaging. She studied small mammals at the Presidio to help with habitat restoration efforts there. I had a project manager working with me and she supervised a team of careers in science interns. And they set up about 20 different trap lines in the Presidio and we trapped three seasons. It was a capture and release project, so you would catch them in live traps, measure them, take information on species, age, gender, whether or not they were in active reproductive status and then release the animals. But the most challenging part of Moe's work? It's CSI Marine Mammals. <laughs> we are part of the Marine Mammal Stranding Network, cover the area from Año Nuevo Island in the south to Bodega Bay in the north. So it's about 115 miles of coastline plus all the areas around San Francisco Bay. So it's our responsibility to respond to any dead marine mammal that washes up within that area. Marine mammals are protected under the Marine Mammal Protection Act. So the, all the data that we collect, the information on age, sex, species, length, um, all get sent to the National Marine Fishery Service and they have a national database of all the marine mammal strandings in the U.S. We work with the Marine Mammal Center on, on necropsies and then collect specimens to archive here in the collection. Tissue samples for DNA analysis, um, if they have whiskers, we collect whiskers for isotope studies so you can see what the animals have been eating and any kind of cause of death that we can determine. That's kind of our main goal. Whether human-caused deaths like ship strikes or natural causes like disease, the detective work Mo and her team do can have big effects. So information like that kind of feeds into the natural history of the species and more information for us as humans to make positive decisions on where we go and what we do with the ocean. She also collaborates with the Marine Mammal Center on a study of parasites and harbor porpoises to better understand the familiar species. Working on getting CT scans so that there is a more baseline information for researchers to utilize. Mo finds challenges wherever she looks. There is no typical day in birds and mammals. There's always something new and exciting each day. If you had talked to me 20 years ago, when I was in college, I never would have said, oh yeah, I'm going to be working on dead marine mammals on the beaches and going to China to study birds. I never would have predicted that, but I love my job and it's, it's amazing the different opportunities that I get working here.